Conservation of energy is a very important concept in physics. In this hands-on activity, we will see this principle in action in a simple experiment of an object rotating in the horizontal plane. For this activity, you will need two large washers or nuts, a piece of string or nylon fishing line of about 50 centimeters in length, and an old pen. Firstly, remove the outside of the pen. So you have a plastic tube to hold on to. Put the string through the tube Tie each end to a nut. This is the equipment for our experiment. To start off, make sure there's no one standing too close. Hold up the plastic tube with one hand and hold the lower nut in your other hand. Move the hand holding the plastic tube in a horizontal circle and the top nut will go round in a horizontal circle. This is our model of circular motion. The nut goes round and the string that we hold stops the nut from flying off. We can compare this with a satellite going round the earth in which the force of gravity keeps it from flying off into space. How much tension do we need in the string to keep the radius of the nut's orbit constant? The force we need is called a centripetal force, and it is the force towards the center of the orbit which is just enough to change the direction of the nut along a circle without changing its speed. The centripetal force can be written as mv squared over r, where m is the mass of the nut, v its velocity, and r is the radius of its orbit. Another way to write it is m omega squared r, where omega is the angular velocity of the nut with units of radians per second. We can see from the equation Centripetal force equals mass times radius times angular velocity squared. That we need a lot of force if we use a heavy object, large mass, or a large radius, long string, and especially because it is squared, if we try to spin it quickly, large omega. That is why in the athletics event, throwing the hammer, athletes have to be very strong to provide the centripetal force for the heavy hammer which they swing quickly. Now back to our experiment. If we swing the nut and then hold our hands still, the nut continues to go round. This is because it has a kinetic energy. This energy is gradually changed into heat by the friction between the string and the plastic tube and between the nut and the air, and so eventually the nut stops going round. In our experiment, we first use our hand to get the nut going round fast. Then we hold our hand steady, so the nut continues to go round without our doing anything. Then while we hold the hand with the tube steady, with the other hand we gently pull the stationary nut down and see what happens to the moving nut. You should see that as you pull down on the vertical string, the rotation speed of the moving nut increases as the radius of rotation decreases. This is very similar to the satellite going around the Earth. If it is a long way above the Earth, it goes slowly, while if it is near the Earth, it must go quickly so that it doesn't fall to the Earth. If you start with a nut swinging at a medium radius, you will find that you can make the rotation speed reduce by slowly reducing the pull on the lower nut. 
What we can see from this is that the speed of rotation is inversely proportional to the radius. Small radius, high speed. Large radius, low speed. It looks like something is being conserved. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared, where m is the object's mass and v is its speed. Since v in this equation is a scalar, not a vector, the equation is true for the case of an object going in a straight line with speed v or in a circle with speed v. As it is difficult to work with linear velocity for something that is moving in a circle, we can change from linear velocity to the product of angular velocity omega and the radius r. If kinetic energy is conserved, we can see that the angular velocity is proportional to 1 over the radius. So if the radius gets smaller, the angular velocity must increase to keep the kinetic energy constant. When we pull on the string gently, we use much less energy than the kinetic energy of the nut, so we can neglect the small amount of work that we do. So we see that the energy is conserved in an object rotating under a central force. However, if we pull down hard, we see that the nut goes round very fast because the work that we do is converted into kinetic energy. In this case, the energy is not conserved. In this hands-on activity, we've talked about things moving in a circle with a central force. We have seen how kinetic energy is conserved in this simple experiment. By doing this experiment, your students will enjoy seeing and feeling what central forces really are.